Hey guys, welcome to our new house. Come on in. All right, guys, so where we're sitting right now is in the foyer area. Dion is recording right now, and basically where he is is exactly where the front door is. So this is what you see whenever you first walk into the house. And I think that one of the things that really sold us on this house was basically like just the view that you get whenever you first walk in. Because the hallway is nice and long, the area right here is two stories, so it doesn't feel like claustrophobic when you first walk in. And it just feels like nice and open and perfect for the two of us. So, what's we'll over here, but essentially you'll walk through here to get to most of the house. But starting right here, so whenever you first come in through the front door, uh, to your right you have this space here. And this is actually more so Dion's thing. Dion was so adamant about having a formal dining room. I don't know what his thing was, but he kept saying that he just wanted the space for my God, Thanksgiving Christmas. Even though I'll only I literally probably be here like twice a year, if that um, he was super adamant about having a space that had a formal dining room. And we have to find this house and this floor plan here that not only has a formal dining room but also has a formal living space as well. Now we don't find that well Neon's in charge of facing that pretty open spaces because that's what he wanted. Um, but I don't really know what this space will be used for, but we have it, it's an extra space. Um, which is good. So this area right here is supposed to be the formal living and then this area right here is supposed to be the formal dining. Okay so we have these two areas here and then if you walk back this way you can actually cut from the formal living spaces into the kitchen. So basically you have this little narrow walkway here that leads to our kitchen um, and right here we have our pantry which is honestly not that special, but this is like just the amount of space that we need. Me and Dion actually do not, well, I snack a little bit. Dion doesn't snack at all, so we literally never really have stuff for our pantry. So it's like the perfect amount of space for us. And like it's you know, nice and long and open and just enough space that we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and close these doors. And before we go through here, I'm actually gonna go back this way and take the kitchen for last. Okay, so now I'm back again, like in the entryway area. But if you walk down a little bit further to where I am, on the left, you have your laundry room. So if you walk back this way, you will run into the actual laundry room. This is one of the things that we loved about this floor plan because we like that it has a separate room just for laundry. So you don't have to cut through the laundry room to get into the house. I know that a lot of houses, like the laundry room is like connecting the garage and the house. But this room here is completely closed off, which I love because it can be as messy as you want it to be and it's close the door and you're good to go. So we just kept it really simple in here. We just did some tile floor. We'll have our washer and dryer, keeping it really simple. I told you that eventually I would love to like spruce it up, change the tile, um, eventually build like a countertop on top of the washer and dryer to have a space like actually fold clothes and things like that. But for now, this is good enough. And then right next to the laundry room is actually the garage door. So essentially you can come in from the garage drop off your dirty clothes here in the laundry room and then walk into the house like this so that is that area okay and so then you come around the corner again you're back in the main little walkway for your area and then you hit the space right here so over here again to your right you will hit our half bathroom front of your back and then in here is pretty simple it's just the sink the toilet the mirror and the light um, we will for sure be changing out the mirror and the light eventually, but we also just ran the same floor that's in the rest of the house throughout the bathroom so it can be cohesive. So just a simple half bath, not a whole lot to show here, but I love that we have a half bath um, here on the main floor. And then also on this side, which is to your left, you have just a simple coat closet, but I love it because not only is it just a coat closet, but it has so much storage. So it's perfect for not only storing your suitcases, coats, jackets, things like that, but we plan on putting like our um, seasonal decor in here, like a Christmas tree, that kind of stuff tucked away back there. So it's perfect for storage. So you have your coat closet and then you have your half bath. And then you walk into, hand down, our favorite part of the house. This is a thousand percent what sold us on the house. 
One of the things me and Dion really, really wanted, or two things that we would wanted was an open floor plan and we wanted a open to below or two story family room. That was like one of our must haves. And we were having such a hard time finding one until we found this space and we just love, love, love the entire openness of this space. So, basically over here you have your family room area. Not much there, but it is a huge, huge, huge space. Um, we've already purchased our couch, so we have a nice sectional, like two accent chairs. Um, we're going to go to TV, or of course our TV, you know, TV stands in the floor here. Um, so that would be really nice to notice to you guys how that all comes together. I literally have, you guys, I literally have like a virtual design of how I want to design this room. So just stay tuned because it's going to be amazing. Um, and we already have our stuff picked out as far as we want to pizzazz them up with. So again, this is like the family room space. And then over here, we have our beautiful kitchen. And you guys, this is our beautiful kitchen. And this kitchen is literally the embodiment of both me and Dion. Because when I say we had some struggles with compromising on this kitchen, and Dion wanted, if it was up to Dion, we would have had dark everything, okay? We would have had dark cabinets, dark countertops, dark backsplash, dark everything. I wanted more light and airy, more crisp, more clean. So it took us a while to agree on something, but we agreed on just doing the dark cabinets, um, and then the light backsplash and countertop, and we both love how it came out. Like, it literally looks amazing, and I can't wait to go in and actually add on, like, our personal touches, like the hardware, and, like, the little countertop before, things like that. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait for to see it. But if you come closer, so here's a glimpse at our countertop. So we did this, I think it's called South Stone Quartz, um, the same thing, um, but we did this, like, gray and golden brownish kind of um it's not even really marble but like it's just a really cool design with this nice mix of gray and like that golden brown color because it perfectly ties together the cabinets the backsplash as well as the floors so we did this counter and then we did this really cool white mosaic backsplash. Whenever we were deciding, we were kind of torn as far as what type of shape we wanted to do. And this is actually Dion's suggestion, no lie. And I was a bit worried as far as how it would come out because I'm a very visual person. But once our contractor sent us a picture of the, of the backsplash and the countertops when they were first installed, I literally fell in love. So I love it because it's light, it's bright, but it also adds some personality and some texture because it's not like your standard subway chow. So I love this, love this combo. And then here's a closer glimpse of our cabinets. And they're not black, they look black and far away, but they're actually a really dark charcoal gray. I believe the color is a black fox, but love, love, just a love combination. It just looks amazing together. Got our microwave oven, the usual. And then I also went ahead and did um, a black sink and then a black water filter, just because I feel like the black would really make the room pop. And it sounds really stupid, but like as an adult, these are things I get excited about. And I just love how it all ties and flows together, especially because of the theme that I wanna do in this space. So just wait for that. And then over here, you have your breakfast nook. It's a plain, you know, space, of course, I'm gonna put a little Dining table here, maybe add, well, that was what I do, but I'm gonna add a light fixture there. I'm um, like really spruce this area up. But I want to note that one thing you guys will notice about our house is that it has a lot of windows. That was something that was super duper duper important to me and Dion for two reasons. It was important to me because I work from home, so I need as much light and natural sunlight as possible. So I need a space that did not feel dark and claustrophobic and just like really tight. I wanted a really open and bright space. Dion wanted a lot of windows because he doesn't like leaving lights on and save electricity. So this literally solves both of our problems. And I just love that you have the lights here in the breakfast nook, lights here in the family room, in the front of the house. Wait till you see our bedroom, it's super bright. So this is, I just love how open and how bright it feels. So you have that space, again, the breakfast nook, and then coming on back into our bedroom. So our room is the only room on the first floor, which we love because we wanted to basically be on our own separate space. Um, I know I hear people say all the time, oh, don't get your mask on the first floor, especially if you have kids, blah, blah, blah. First of all, the only kid we have is going to be 12, um, and so she doesn't need us like that. And then whenever we do have babies, I don't know if it's just me, but 
I do not want to sleep next to my crying baby. I just don't <laughs> at all. So for me, it's like I love the separation between like our own little oasis and like the rest of the house. So here's our room. Our room is massive, at least to me it is. <laughs> and um, I love, love, love all of the open space. Um, we plan on upgrading our bed to a king size bed. You have more than enough space for a king, you know, dresser or, you know, dresser, nightstands, the whole nine. Um, I'm also glad that I convinced Dion to get the master bay window because I love that we can have our bed, again, our nightstands, dresser, TV there, and then put like some accent chairs, or, like not even accent chairs, like some comfy chairs in the room to so, like, you know, lay up in, you know, just stay up late reading or, you know, watch a movie at nighttime. Like you can still be in your room and still be comfortable and cozy and kind of lounge out. And so that space will be for that. So I just love, love, love how big the room is. And also this room does have vaulted ceilings. I love, love, love how the vaulted ceilings makes the room feel so nice and massive. And it's, it's honestly, it's like, I keep telling Dion that it's really like a uh, oasis. Like it's like her own little space and I love it. One thing about this house that I love, love, love the pink colors because the walls are light, but they're not stark white. I didn't want to do anything that was like too stark because I don't want it to feel like it's just too much, like too, too, too light. And this color here, I believe it's the shade Simply White from Sherwin Williams. I'm not quite sure, but I love that this color is light, but it also still feels warm and homey. And that's what I do like. Okay, so there is the room. And then here is the master bathroom. And this is literally another thing that sold me and Dion this house, which you guys will see in a second. Me and Dion knew when we bought a house that we wanted to have separate sinks because in our apartment that we just left, um, it did have two bathrooms, so both bathrooms only had one sink. And him and I, like, we don't like to share the sink. So him and I knew that we both wanted double sinks. However, we didn't expect that we'd get a house that has completely separate vanities, you guys. So we literally both get to have one of these to ourselves. And y'all know how happy this makes me because now I get all of this and all of the storage to myself. We did the same cabinet color in all the bathrooms we had to with our builder. We may paint the ones upstairs, but for now we're gonna leave it. And then we basically essentially designed this bathroom around uh, the cabinet color. And I have to make a shout out to Neon because he was actually the one who picked out this marble tile that surrounds our shower and our bathtub. So it does have a separate bathtub shower. Nothing special about it. Uh, but we have that and we also have this here. And I'm excited to now have a separate shower and bath because now I can actually take like nice long baths and actually enjoy it. So we went ahead and did the marble towel along the shower and the bathtub. And then for the floors, we of course wanted to tie everything in. Um, but we didn't want to do the marble like on the floors and the walls just because I thought it would be too much and to me it's a little too played out. Um, but of course we wanted everything to tie together. So what we did is we did the marble along the walls and for the surround. And then for the floors, we did like this really nice light gray tile just to tie everything together. Because we have the white countertops and the dark gray um, cabinets, we thought that this light gray tile on the floor would be a nice way to bring it all together. And I, I love, love, love the way it looks because it's not just too much of this, uh, but it's like nice and neutral, just my vibe or just our vibe. And it looks amazing. And over here, this has just the plain um, toilet closet, nothing special there. And then this is our master closet. It's not a lot in here either, but um, it is a great amount of space for both of us. And we do plan on eventually getting um, a custom closet, which will be awesome for the both of us. Okay, so whenever you come out the master bedroom, this is the view that you get. Again, you have that two-story living room. You have the open floor plan. It's nice and spacious. You can kind of see how the front of the door is like kind of far away, which I love. And so I love, love, love in this space. But we also love this view. Me and y'all keep on saying that we just love, love this view of like the, the stairs across all nice and open. 
And then for the stair bolsters, what it was called, we did these uh, matte black geometric uh, wrought iron bolsters. I think this was called. But we did these, which we love. They're very nice and modern. Now the rail and the goal post, um, that we could not pick because our builder basically had one option if we got these. Um, but we will be having someone really come in on Monday to stain this a really dark, like I want it pretty much black, but like as dark as we can get it, like a really, really deep espresso black tone. So basically this time next week, this will be completely different. But that is the stairs. And again, you get a nice view of the living room, the family room. If you're up here and someone's down there and you have a question, you can just say, hey, so-and-so, like, you know, what channel is such and such? And I just love the view. So you have all this open. And then we come upstairs, you have this space here. Now, let me just go ahead and note, this floor pad originally had a very open, spacious game room. So imagine coming up the stairs and this wall not being here. That was how big the original game room or the original floor plan was. However, to me, it didn't make sense because it was like a waste of space. And all we need in our game room or TV room, which is literally just the couch and the TV, that's all we use it for. So we went ahead and actually made that a fifth bedroom and it's added a wall here. So now you have like a nook area or what's called a tech center. And we'll basically just put like maybe a desk here, a computer. I still have like this open space here for whatever. And then upstairs you have four bedrooms, but one of the four bedrooms will be our TV room. So right here off the little tech center, you have a bathroom, nothing major here. Um, both of the bathrooms upstairs have the same color scheme or the same you know, design, the same tile on the walls and the floors. And then again, that same cabinet color that's in the rest of the bathrooms, which is a plain white sink. And the other one looks just like this. Okay, so again, here's the bathroom right here. And then right next to the bathroom, we have this big open spacious room right here, which is going to be my office. Um, it is, I think, the second largest room upstairs. But the reason why is because I have a lot of stuff that I have to accommodate in my office. Like I have to have a filming space. I have to have a space to package orders. I have to have a space to actually work on edit and things like that. So I basically have to make this space work for like four different things. And so this is the perfect amount of space for that. It's a really big room. I love it. And then it does have a walk-in closet, which will be perfect for storing inventory, storing my lights and equipment, storing stuff for my freelancing stuff, makeup, just whatever. Um, I have all that. And then right next to this room, this is going to be our TV room. I don't know why people would need a TV room that was as big as the original floor plan. Um, this is more than enough space for us to just put a couch. We're gonna have our um, TV console, our TV couch, a little um, lounge chair, a little coffee table, popcorn machine over there. That's all we need, which we have already purchased our couch and cannot wait for you guys to see it. Um, but this is the space. It's literally just a really long room. And then also this room does have a nice size storage closet as well, which you can store um, whatever we need. Leon's going to put his seasonal clothes in here. He already claimed this closet for his seasonal clothes. <laughs> So he'll put like his winter clothes or whatever in there. I don't know, I don't really care. So yeah, this is the space. And again, it's like the perfect size for what we need. Okay, so again, coming out the TV room, again, you have my office right here. You have the bathroom right here. You have the nook space right here. And then cutting across, you have two other bedrooms. Now, both these rooms are pretty much the same size. This one, no, actually this one to me seems a bit bigger, but also the layout is a lot more efficient so this is going to be Breland's room okay so as you guys know i do have a stepdaughter her name is Breland. she's going on 12 and it was really important for us to make sure that she had her own room we wanted her to have a space that felt like home for her whenever she wanted to visit um, or stay with us because it's her house too and so this room is going to be completely for her we're going to have you know her bed her nightstand her dresser or whatever and like basically let her well not let her decorate but like we will work with her to decorate her room the way that she wants it to be so we know that she has a space to have a bed whatever whatever um and then also we keep saying that basically the upstairs will pretty much be her own personal oasis because 
him and I will hardly ever be up here unless we like watch a movie or something or I'm filming. So she will basically have her room to, you know, sleep, do whatever. And then she'll pretty much have the TV room to herself. So she will have more than enough space, especially as an only child at this point in time. So we have this room. Oh, and it does have a closet as well. It's not a walk-in, but it's definitely more than enough space for her. And it is pretty wide as well. Um, so that's her closet. Again, you have another bathroom. This one here does have double sinks, which I'm happy that we went ahead and did. Um, because to me, since it's servicing two rooms, you need this bathroom to have double sinks. So we did double sinks here in this one. And then you have the same tile again here on the walls and the floors. Regular tub, not much special there. Um, but I actually really do like the combo of the tile and of course that same dark charcoal cabinet. Diana is thinking about painting the or having someone paint them, which you may do eventually, but of course that is to come. Now I'm pretty sure I mentioned it earlier, but we do plan on changing out all the light fixtures throughout the house. Maybe eventually the mirrors and the sinks and things like that. Um, but for now, for sure, for sure, the light fixtures. And we do plan on adding on hardware and all that good stuff. But we definitely want to make this house feel like ours. So we'll be personalizing it and adding our own personal touches. Okay, and then lastly over here, we have the last bedroom. Again, to me, I think that this one and the other one are pretty much the same size. Um, this one to me is like a little bit darker. It only has this one little random window. Um, so it's not the most functional, which is why this will be a guest room. <laughs> because A, we hardly ever have guests. So I, personally, in my opinion, this room will probably never really be used unless we have another kid, which is why this one is like the last one on the corner. Um, but again, plain room, same thing, same carpet, same everything. And this one also has a closet, the same closet as well. So not much there. And you guys, this is what I meant again about how much I love this view. Like, see how you can be upstairs and still, you know, have it been nice and open for the rest of the house. So like, there's no part of this house that has any sort of separation, which I really, really, really do love because it's just, it's very us. It's very me and beyond, which I really like. All right, guys, so that is it for our empty house tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so excited that we, first of all, that we were fortunate enough to be able to afford this beautiful home and be able to have the opportunity to live here. And not only that, but that we had the privilege of designing a house that literally fits us, that is literally like us in a nutshell. Like, I love the house. Hope you guys do as well. And I'm so ecstatic to be starting this new chapter with my handsome husband behind the screen. So, hope you guys enjoyed this empty house tour. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because there's a lot of content to come. Like, I need everything from house updates to projects to home decor haul to just like how I plan on decorating. I want to do a video as far as like what my design style is and all the kind of good stuff. Like there's lots to come, so stay tuned for that. So with that being said, I'll go ahead and shut up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.